Hey everyone, this is Trevor Erickson with StuKent. I'm super excited for this expert session today. You get to hear from the Vice President of Marketing at Digital Marketer, Molly Pittman. While I was attending the Social Media Marketing World Conference, I was able to catch Molly's presentation and immediately thought that she would make an amazing expert session speaker. So today, she'll be sharing her expert knowledge on Facebook Messenger Marketing. Did you know that there are over 1 billion people using Facebook Messenger? I had no idea. That number is huge. That's a ton of people, and that means there's a ton of opportunity to get in front of them. So without any further ado, let's turn the stage over to Molly. Cool. Thanks for the introduction, Trevor. Excited to be here. Um, like Trevor said, I'm going to be talking about Facebook Messenger marketing today. Um, again, my name is Molly Pittman. I'm the VP of Marketing at, at Digital Marketer. Uh, we're an e-learning company um, that likes to talk about uh, online marketing. So in, uh, specifically related to Facebook Messenger marketing and, and really the reason that we started paying attention to messenger marketing um, was because Facebook rolled out messenger ads. So they rolled out the ability um, to tap into their Facebook messenger platform and to actually run ads on the platform. Now this happened um, November 8th, 2016. So this is still um, really new to advertisers and to consumers. Um, there are over 1 billion users, so there's actually 1.2 billion active monthly users on the Facebook Messenger platform specifically um, as of April 2017. So 1.2 billion monthly active users, um, which is really insane for a messaging platform. Um, now, feedback that I've heard about Facebook Messenger and Facebook Messenger marketing since we started teaching it was, um, you know, this will only work for tech audiences, right? Um, only people that are, are, are technically minded um, would use Facebook Messenger and actually resp respond to brands. So if you're thinking that, definitely uh, try to remove that thought from your head. Um, just like the Facebook platform in general, um, Facebook Messenger is used by many different many different demographics, age ranges. Um, this is not something that just works for a tech audience. Facebook Messenger has a huge amount of consumption. Um, it's funny. It, it, this is a, a screenshot of my great grandmother. She's in her 90s, and she uses Facebook Messenger. So if your audience is using Facebook Messenger, um, you can market to them through this channel. It's not about being high tech. Um, it's about entering the conversation where your audience is already having theirs, right? So if your audience is using Facebook Messenger, which they probably are, um, then this type of, of advertising can and, and will work for you. It's about being present where they're actually having their conversation. So this works like any other social advertising. And here's some interesting graphs on the left-hand side. You can see that in 2015, first quarter of 2015, the monthly active users of the top four messaging apps actually surpassed the monthly active users for the top four social networks. Now, what's interesting about Facebook is it's both. Right, so you have the social networking side and then you have the messenger side. Um, so the reason that Facebook Messenger has become such a thing is because it was built off of the back of you know, the, the biggest social network. So I just wanted to show that, that chart there on the left-hand side to show you that even comparing these messenger apps to social networks, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, um, these messenger apps have a higher monthly consumption, um, which was pretty insane. I was, I was shocked when I saw uh, that chart. 
but also people's preferences are shifting. So it's not just about them using these messenger apps, you know, to talk to their family and their friends. Uh, Facebook did a study and 56% of people say it said they would rather message than call customer service. So they would rather message a brand than call their customer service line. More than one in two people say they're more likely to shop with a business they can message. And 67% of people expect to message businesses more in the next two years. And really the point that I'm trying to make with this slide is for you to think about how you use you know, instant message communication in your life, right? Um, you know, most people um, don't even answer phone calls of numbers that they don't know, or maybe numbers that they do know, right? Um, you know, it, it, to me, it's it's almost rude to call someone without texting them first, right? And in today's culture, so really, the point of this slide is to get you thinking about the role that Messenger plays in your life and um, in the lives of, of many people that are like you. Uh, but, you know, the other day I was, was trying to get a hold of AT&T's customer service, and the first thing that I Googled was AT&T live chat. Um, I wanted that instantaneous communication, and I didn't want to have to talk to someone on the phone. Email is slow, um, and the phone is, is kind of obnoxious. Uh, so from my point of view, Messaging and instant communication is my preferred uh, communication line with brands and businesses, um, and most people are trending in that direction. So this isn't just about being on Facebook Messenger as a marketer to even generate leads or sales. Um, this is about even just being reactive and being present on these channels because your customers and your prospects, uh, they want to communicate um, via these communication methods. And it's not just about customer service. So uh, this was a little image that Facebook released. And you can see that Messenger played in each step of the customer journey here. So consideration, 35% uh, of people were messaging the business to ask a question. 33% asking about store hours, location, inventory, 34% um, making or confirming an appointment, 33% actually making a purchase or placing an order over Messenger, um, connection, 30% providing feedback about the business after purchase, and 39% were sharing photos of a product um, you know, or, or some sort of feedback after the purchase. So a funny story, I actually signed an apartment lease through Facebook Messenger. So I was driving through Austin and I saw um, that they were building a new apartment and I was interested, I was in a place where I was ready to move. And so I messaged the, the um, apartment complex directly on Facebook and um, from the you know me inquiring about the the complex to setting up a tour to actually signing the lease everything happened through Facebook Messenger um, so it just goes to show that you can literally facilitate the entire customer journey with a prospect to a customer to a promoter for your business through Facebook Messenger but it's not just for talking um, and if you use Facebook Messenger, you've probably noticed that you can now um, send money to anyone via PayPal right inside of Messenger. Um, they do have integrations um, for brand pages with Stripe and PayPal. Um, more to come. So this isn't just about talking. Uh, I believe that Facebook Messenger will absolutely become a commerce platform. Um, if you read anything about um, you know, what Facebook's saying about Messenger, they actually say they don't want it to become a commerce platform, but what they mean by that is they're not looking to take a percentage of payments that go through Facebook Messenger, right? Um, that's not their monetization model. Facebook is going to stick with an advertising monetization model 
inside of Messenger just like they have um, you know in the news feed and on on the social um, the actual social side that doesn't mean that Facebook isn't looking to facilitate commerce um, for their brands and for you know businesses inside of Messenger so in the next few months and it's already in beta you will start to see the ability to actually browse through products to ask a company if they have you know your size in a certain colored shirt um, and you will have the ability to pay to input your shipping information to input your credit card information um, and to essentially click buy right within messenger um, but what's important here is that if people don't build um, engagement inside of Messenger um, other than just asking people to buy stuff, um, those brands are going to have trouble ever selling through Messenger. Um, so until we do have the functionality to you know, have the payment buttons right inside of Messenger, I'm absolutely encouraging brands and, and marketers to look at this platform from a way of, um, you know, how can I really make this engaging to the end user, right? So how can I use Facebook Messenger ads to engage people, to give them good content, um, you know, to explain more about my, uh, you know, your products? How can you use a bot to give them good content? And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So first, let's talk about Facebook Messenger ads. So there are two totally different types of ads um, that are lumped into the idea of Facebook Messenger ads. So the first is Facebook Messenger as a destination, and these open inside of a message. The second is Facebook Messenger as a placement, and these are called sponsored messages. These are more like email, and they actually appear inside of your inbox as an unread message, just like a message from your family or friends um, would appear inside of Messenger. So this is what the first type, Facebook Messenger as a destination, looks like. Um, you're scrolling through your newsfeed, you see an ad, um, whether it's an image or a video or a carousel, and you click on that ad and it immediately opens right there inside um, of Messenger in the bottom right hand corner. If you're on mobile, it will open in the Messenger app. Um, it will open a conversation directly with that brand. So this is set at the ad level. Um, so if you're setting up an ad and at the ad level under page and links, instead of selecting website URL, you would simply select Messenger. Um, so this is telling Facebook, I don't want the traffic to go to you, a URL. I actually want it to open right inside of Messenger. So this is set at the ad level. This particular ad type is. As you can see here, um, you can put the text in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, that's going to go into your ad. So have questions about Digital Marketer Lab and how it can help grow your business. Facebook chat with one of our specialists to get your questions answered. Under message text, um, that's what will appear inside of Messenger after someone clicks on one of these ads. So if for some reason you aren't seeing that option inside of your ads manager or power editor, most pages do have get messages as an option on their Facebook page. Um, so this is another way to set up this ad type. So here's an example of the first destination ad that we ran at Digital Marketer. Um, so it's the one you saw before. Um, have a question about how we can help double the size of your business. Have a question about DM Lab or any of our products. Click here to chat. Now this was just a, a test. Um, we had just uh, received access to this ad type and I wanted to simply give it, give it a test, right? So this ad isn't perfect, um, but we were just testing. Um, so this was posted to our page and then I boosted it to our email list and our website custom audiences. So I wanted to run it to people that um, you know knew the brand, right? Because we were asking if they had questions about our products. 
So we spent $800 and generated over 300 conversations. Um, and they were great conversations, like, do you have a UK contact number? I'm very interested in some of your products, but not sure where to start. I would love to talk to someone. That person, um, you know, we got on the phone with them and we were able to sell them one of our products. So these conversations were very, very helpful in actually selling, also answering questions, um, you know, from our prospects, people that had questions. But what was cool is that we knew we could drum up conversation through this ad type, right? We were able to have a 300 conversations for $800, and that was asking people if they had questions about our products, right? Um, so we immediately knew that this ad type had a pulse after we ran this test. A great way to use this ad type is to retarget down the funnel, retarget further down the customer journey um, to help overcome any barriers to entry. So for example, if you have a sales page um, where you're asking people to buy something or you're asking them to fill out a form, a great way to use these destination ads is to uh, create a custom audience of people who have landed on that, that sales page or that landing page but didn't reach the thank you page. So they didn't take whatever action you were wanting them to take. And usually when people get that far in the sales cycle and they don't buy, there's usually a reason. It's usually not that they actually don't want whatever you're selling or whatever you're offering. It's usually that a question came up in their mind that wasn't answered and so instinctually, they hit the back button, they hit the X, and they went along, uh, they went about their day. So a great way to use these ads is to essentially provide, you know, a chat option for people who don't take the action that you want to see if you can help overcome any barriers to entry they might have to doing whatever you're wanting them to do. So this ad, um, was retargeting people that landed on a sales page for one of our products but didn't buy. And it says, have questions about DM Lab and how it can help grow your business. Facebook chat with one of our specialists to get your questions answered. We're here to help. Um, questions about DM Lab, chat with one of our specialists. You can see that we've actually incorporated the little chat bubble there in the bottom left-hand corner psychologically that triggers in most people's minds that use Facebook Messenger or use um, Apple products, oh, someone is actually talking to me, right? Um, so using that little chat bubble was really successful for us and people were able to click and chat with someone on our sales team that could help answer questions about the product and we were able to, to sell it to them. You can also target um, more top of the funnel people with these types of ads, but you must prompt you know, with a relevant question. So what I mean by this is you, know, you could run one of these ads and target anyone in the world, right? Um, but you obviously don't want to start a bunch of irrelevant questions. Um, so asking what is your favorite color and having people message your page probably isn't a good use of your resources. So if you are using this more at the top of the funnel, make sure you are asking questions or you're enticing them to message um, for a reason that really fits into a sales conversation for the business. So for example, maybe you're having them click and message your page to download a report right? That's great if it leads to the ideal sales conversation um, for, you know, whatever business you're working on. So just be careful if you're using these more at the top of the funnel and to target cold traffic that you are, are leading with the ideal sales conversation and that you're not just um, running ads that ask random questions that, that you know, aren't going to lead to anything in the business. So just to recap, Facebook Messenger as a destination, this first ad type, the, the key thing here is that you can target anyone. So you can target absolutely anyone 
um, with these ads. Interest targeting, behavioral targeting, custom audiences, um, every targeting option that's available with, with normal ads, um, you can use that for these destination ads. These are only available in the newsfeed, mobile and desktop, and if you want to set um, one of these ads up, you would need to use the objective, send people to a destination on or off Facebook, which is also called traffic, um, or a boosted post, page post engagement type of ad. Now let's move to Facebook Messenger as a placement. So these are sponsored messages. And as you can see here, um, these actually appear um, as an unread message in your Facebook inbox, just like you would receive from a friend or a family member. And you can see here at the bottom that um, you know these look like normal messages. You can also add a, a fancy little button there, which is pretty cool too. But these sponsored messages appear in people's Facebook inbox. These are set at the ad set level. So when you're setting up an ad, you'll need to uncheck Facebook, Instagram, and audience network, and then check Messenger. Um, so that it, this is simply a, a placement available at the ad set level inside of Ads Manager or Power Editor. So a few things to know about Facebook Messenger as a placement. With these types of messages, you can only target people who have previously messaged your page in the past. So that's what, what is key about these messages and what will keep you know, marketers from just spamming people's Facebook inbox. You can only target people who have previously messaged your page in the past. You can use the uh, send people to a destination on or off Facebook traffic objective or you can use the conversion objective. Messages can contain one link and one photo, and basically Facebook is going to charge you whether someone opens these messages or not. So brands will have to pay for the ad impression even if the person on the other end never opens the sponsored message, which could obviously um, get a little expensive, but these messages are, are absolutely worth it. They're high touch point. But there's a better, easier, and cheaper way to do this. Um, and we're using a tool called ManyChat, as you can see here on the screen. There are other tools like this. I've just found ManyChat to be the easiest to use, the best tool. And for the pro version, it's only $10 a month. Um, you can see that it says create a Facebook bot to engage with your audience, but this tool is so much more than a Facebook bot. Um, you don't even have to use that feature to really make this tool worth it. The key here is that you're building a subscriber list. So when someone messages your page, you are building a list of those people, right? It's, it's a, a messenger subscriber list, similar to a website custom audience. Um, and you can figure out how big your list is by creating an engagement custom audience inside of Facebook and then just selecting from the drop down that you want an audience of people who have messaged your page in the past. ManyChat also builds that subscriber list for you inside of their tool, which is really useful. You can broadcast for $10 a month. So all of the messages that we just uh, talked about sending and paying for them, whether people you know, saw them or opened them or whether they didn't, you can do all of that for a flat rate of only $10 a month through ManyChat. You can also do a lot of fancy things like set up follow-up sequences that are similar to email autoresponders. Um, you can use their tagging. Um, they have a really cool feature now where if you comment, um, it, it, you can set it up. It's called Facebook's comment to message feature. And you can set this up on a post to where if someone comments on that post, they're immediately auto-messaged. So a lot of cool features inside of ManyChat um, other than setting up a bot. Here's where you're building subscribers inside of the dashboard, which is really exciting. Um, here's the option to send broadcasts. So notice that you can add text, image, gallery, a list. 
um, you can um, s send in you know people's particular time zones um, you can say that you want it to be a regular push which means whatever settings are on their phone so it would be like receiving a normal Facebook message so you know I want the push notification on their screen I want the sound I don't want the sound so mini chat allows you to get very specific with these broadcast messages which is really really exciting you can see that the open rates on the first few that we've sent are really high 89 percent 86 percent 67 percent um, and the you know we've obviously sent more since then and the read rates here are really really high so keep in mind this audience is very very engaged and because this platform is so new people are used to opening messages and even if these messages are from brands um, they are opening the message because they have messaged you in the past right there's some relationship built there um, so really high open rates from these broadcast messages here are some examples of broadcasts that we've sent to Digital Marketer on the left. Hey there, because you're a valued DM subscriber, we want to extend an invitation for you to join our 15,000 plus member community. The process is simple. Click the button below, follow the two-step invitation process, and we'll reach back out to you in a few days. Um, a nice little button there on the right. Tickets to our 8th Annual Traffic and Conversion Summit. Increase in price tonight at midnight. Grab yours while they're still 50% off. Because you're a DM subscriber, use the code CARPEDM for an extra $300 off. Um, and we were able to put an image in there and a nice call to action. Um, so notice that in both messages, we make them feel special um, for being a, a Messenger subscriber. So just two quick examples of, of sponsored messages that we've sent. Um, I believe that brands are going to need to articulate a communication strategy for Messenger, right? Um, so whether you're using it to announce new content or items of interest, um, you know, in your, your market to pr promote new products, reminders for flash sales or deals, um, just really sitting down and thinking about this like you would your email list and um, you know what are you sending when and why um, I, I believe that you shouldn't send more than at least more than one broadcast a week uh, the platform is not mature enough for people to um, you know they're, they're not used to receiving these broadcasts um, so just keep in mind that this is very new and make sure you don't overdo it. So I want to go into a little section of how to take advantage um, of messenger ads even if you're not, or, or messenger, even if you're not buying ads. Um, install ManyChat. Inbound messages will become subscribers. So immediately install ManyChat so you can start to build that list. Think of inbound messages as a selling opportunity. So most Facebook pages are already getting customer service um, messages through, through Facebook, right? So if you can help people um, when they message your page, but also ask them other questions, like a digital marketer, we will help them and then say, you know, what else is going on in your business? How can we help? to really start a conversation where we can help that person and possibly um, sell you know, one of our products to them. Use your mini chat link to drive conversations. So um, Facebook gives you a unique link that if clicked on anywhere on the web, it will open inside of a Facebook message conversation with your brand. So it's very smart to use that link to drive conversations because Messenger is a place where people want to chat. Um, it's also a great way to turn your existing following um, into Messenger subscribers. And you can also integrate Facebook Messenger with your tech stack. Here's an example of a link inside of an email. So we sent an email asking people if they wanted to buy tickets to our event. 
And at the bottom we said, you've got three ways to answer. Reply to this email, give us a call, or my personal favorite and the fastest way to hear your discount, let's chat on Facebook. So people were literally clicking this link and having conversations in Facebook like, good morning, I would like to in fact get another ticket. The person's name will be blank. Um, and the last four digits on the card you can charge is an Amex ending in blank, 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 blank. Um, so most people use the chat option um, from this email. So not only were we able to have quicker sales conversations, we were also able to turn our existing audience into Messenger subscribers. You can also integrate with your tech stack. So whatever technology you're using in your business, they're probably figuring out an integration with Facebook Messenger right now. So for example, this is Shopify's integration. Um, so imagine you're on the order form. It says get order updates, customer service, and more. That's, that's checked. You hit complete order. And um, here's an example that, that I experienced. Um, I immediately received the confirmation number from the brand, um, you know, the order. And then when they actually shipped, they sent me the message on the right. So I was able to follow the shipment on this map, which was really, really cool. So this is a very passive way to turn your existing traffic into Messenger subscribers. Unfortunately, I haven't heard from this brand since um, inside of of Messenger, um, but at least they are using this to build subscribers. So you might be thinking this requires a lot of human resources, and here are some tips to um, ensure that it doesn't. Start small further down the funnel. So if you're just getting started and you want to make a difference with Messenger and you don't have a lot of humans on the other side um, chatting, Start small, use this um, as a retargeting platform essentially so that the conversations that you do have um, are really high leverage. Get help from a bot. So inside of ManyChat you can set up all kinds of sequences um, that will basically allow your bot to answer questions for you, to ask questions for you. Um, you know, in the least it's great to just say, hey, you know, I'm the Facebook bot and my, excuse me, <clears throat> my humans will be back shortly, right? So that they get that instantaneous response from the bot um, and so that they know that a human is coming um, within certain business hours. You can also integrate with customer service software or use the tagging system inside of Facebook. So as you can see, because we have multiple people inside of our messenger, we use a tagging process so that they know, you know, if this is a sales conversation, if it's completed, who's working on which conversation so that um, there isn't overlap. So those, those tags, those labels inside of Facebook make it a lot easier to use. So just some action steps for you guys. Install ManyChat, um, run Facebook Messenger destination ads to build your list, um, but make sure that you're giving them a reason to click, right? So give them a free resource if they message your page or a coupon, give them a reason to take action. Send sponsored messages to your list um, and and that's really the, the three steps that we recommend in terms of getting started right now. Um, this platform is evolving and changing very, very quickly. Um, so I think what's important right now is for people to build um, really engaged audiences inside of Messenger. Yes, it's great to use it um, to generate sales, but I believe that the people that use it as a conversation mechanism right now and to give a lot of value and content up front, when this really does turn into a commerce platform, um, I think that those people will win. Um, but this is a really exciting, exciting time. I actually talked to um, the CEO of ManyChat last week. He was at the F8 Developers Conference with Facebook. And um, they are forecasting that in the next two to three years, 
Messenger will essentially gobble up 80% of the communication market. So, you know, in terms of email, phone, Messenger, um, you, you know, when, when people are talking to brands, Messenger will take up 80% of that market, which is huge. So it's, it's time to, to learn this stuff now and to start testing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely check us out at digitalmarketer.com. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to, to find me on Facebook, and I'm always happy to help.